Yeah, so for model year 2026, which we're, we're thinking about planting spring of 2025 here, we're already preparing for spring of 2026 in those new models, and that's what we're showing off here today. So one of those is the addition to the 2160 family, so our large frame planters, uh, we've now got 10 configurations. And so that 10th configuration is on the smaller end of those, of those configs we've got in 2160, it's a 24 row, 22 inch configuration. And so that 24 row 22 is gonna fit those guys that have fixed harvesting methods, sugar beets, you know, you guys got those in Michigan, a lot of sugar beets, it's target market for us on this planter. We get Red River Valley guys, those uh, that have those sugar beets, great fit for those customers, uh, provides that productivity, big seed capacity, big liquid capacity, tracks, all of the high-tech row unit features we talk about on planters. Now outside of that, soybean market. We think that's gonna fit well for those growers that have some white mold disease pressure potentially, more airflow in there with a little bit wider row spacing than say a 15 inch row, but still gives us that canopy early uh, versus a 30 inch row. So some good opportunity I think with this new configuration of 2160. So we talk productivity, right? And oftentimes today, we see growers putting that nutrients on with that planter pass more and more all the time. And so it's important that that capacity supports those, those applications. And so 600 gallons of onboard capacity with this planter and all of our 2160s. In uh, addition to that, then productivity with seed. And so 120 bushel of seed capacity, so carrying large loads of seed and capacity to get that productivity level up in the field, run a little bit longer, less time filling product, more time in the seed. So we've got it all over the board. Uh, we say accuracy at your speed. Uh, we want that farmer to have that, I'll say, tummy comfort to know that they're doing their job correctly. They're trying to plant seed in the ground, make sure they're doing it accurately. So if that choice is five mile an hour, so be it, great. We know we're gonna be accurate there. And if that choice is 10 mile an hour, we're gonna fully support that as well and have the tools uh, already on that planter. So the specs, the options, you know, the hydraulic downforce solution, in-cab controls to support those higher speed operations we see growers going today. So we've got, we've got some, some, some new options for model year uh, 2026 that we want to talk through, and especially when it comes to no-till, and that's a residue manager blade option. So uh, we're familiar with what we call in the industry kind of a shark tooth design. Uh, we've actually narrowed that tooth up, and it's kind of a hybrid tine to move less soil, but still move that residue. And so those customers are putting down a pre-emerge herbicide. We're not moving that treated soil out of the way so you get weeds in the row. Later in life, we're just moving that residue. And then the second option we talk about, and this planter has it on here, is the spoke gauge wheel. And that allows those conditions that are probably fringe most of the time, wet conditions to, if there's you know, soil, wet soil, mud that gets in there, we can get that back out of there easily. So spoke gauge wheels is another one, really works well in a no-till condition as well. So air compressor, hydraulically driven, high capacity air compressor, uh, works for all of our in-cab control features. So residue manager we talked about before, I can really dial those in and adjust those properly from the cab, getting that visual feedback. Then the second place we use that air is going to be on the closing system, maximizing again, you know, those agronomic drivers that we at Case IH talk about, seed to soil contact being one of those agronomic drivers, making sure that we're enveloping that seed in that loose, moist soil to promote that early, even emergence. We're, we're, we're taking orders from all of your 2026 planters today in preparation for next year. So as we start planning our business and growers start planning their business, make sure they're working with their local Case IH dealer. And if you want more information, visit caseih.com.